Lee and I had the best morning. I loved it. You liked it. You did. Yeah. I, well, I wasn't as comfortable as you were, but I did enjoy myself. We went scuba diving. Lee and I went scuba diving this morning. At somebody's pool. At somebody's pool. They don't They don't know we were there. Yeah. It's the new drive-by junk challenge. It's the drive-by <laughs> scuba exactly. challenge. Go up in a self-contained underwater breathing apparatus. Nailed it. If you didn't know, that's what scuba stands for. Uh, no, we were at the, uh, the Lancaster Aquatic Center on UK's campus because yeah. of our friends over at New Horizons. Yes. So we'll, we'll show you that a uh, little bit later. Yeah, it's a story coming up in a couple of days here on the Live with Lee and Haley show. So we were working. We weren't just out that's having right. fun. That's a, this show is amazing. We get to do so many fun things around this area. Get paid for it. And get paid for it. But yeah, this morning was amazing. We had so much fun. But yeah, we got in the car to leave. And we were like, yeah, still. water in the air. We had a blast, though. It was so relaxing. So, uh, what are you going to do uh, our thing? <laughs> are you doing hot topics? Are we just going to start talking? What are we doing here? Let's do hot topics. I was like, you're vague. Did I, did I miss a meeting? Hot let's do topic. the thing. You know the thing. All right, let's talk about some big stories that everybody's chatting about today. Hugh Hefner, better known as Hef. Passed away yesterday at his Playboy Mansion in California. Best known, of course, for founding Playboy magazine. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, 91 died of natural causes uh, at his mansion, which, of course, was the home to all those famous parties that he hosted. I was shocked to see this. I woke up and saw it this morning on Twitter. And, you know, because you haven't heard a lot about him lately. And, you know, sometimes when, you know, celebrities like this get older, you know, it's, it's almost a little more expected. But mm -hmm. this, you know, we just really hadn't heard from him, I feel like, in the last several months. And it was a bit of a shock to see this this morning. 91. 91. Old. Yeah. I, I is it just me, but I thought he was dead already. Oh gosh. I thought he had died already. Yeah. Is it is it just me? Nobody else thought that? That Hef had died already? I thought I read that someplace. Yeah. I apologize to the Hefner family. Oh gosh. But I thought they he feel better. <laughs> I thought he I thought he was already I think gone. That's happened to me before with some celebrities, and I've been like they're He's still, still alive? alive? No, but I really thought maybe it was a few months ago I read that. Maybe he was had an illness Was he one of the celebrities where there was like a death hoax? Maybe he was one of those celebrities uh, where people were reporting. Fake news. I, I was uh, suckered in by it, I guess. I don't suckered know. Suckered in. But yeah, he survived by his wife, Crystal, and he has four grown children from previous yeah. relationships. Um, well, yeah. yeah. Sorry, Hef. But, you know, he gave a rite of passage to a lot of young fellas. Yes, he did. So uh, Sports Illustrated, its latest cover is getting some heat. It features a series of sports figures. You see them there. Blue Stephon Curry right in the middle. You got LeBron next to him. You got uh, Roger Goodell. That's a piece of work, Roger oh, Goodell, boy, that guy. Me. Curry's not happy with this, though. He slammed the magazine because it didn't feature Colin Kaepernick. Well, listen, Stephon, I respect and admire you immensely, but Colin, <laughs> Colin Kaepernick's not in the league. Why would you put him in Sports Illustrated? That's a good point. You want to put people who kind of play in right now. That's I mean, a good that's... point. The reason he wanted Cap on the covers because Kaepernick is the one who started the whole kneeling thing uh, last yeah, I know, season during but that. It's Sports Anthem, Illustrated. So... It's not Time magazine. It's exactly. not Newsweek. No, that's a great point. It's I not a social that. magazine. So Sports Illustrated. And you know, maybe if he hadn't thrown so many interceptions, he could have been locked arms with you. That's all I'm saying. Burn. Ouch. Well, I'm just saying. Ouch. I mean, it has more to do with. I feel like at the end of each and every story of these today, you're going to have to say, I'm gonna, I'm sorry. Gonna water so, in my ears. so I'm, I apologize because I got water in me. But no, that is a good point. But yeah, as you saw, and it wasn't just those three on the cover, Goodell, um, uh, Curry, and LeBron. There were a lot of other athletes. And, you know, Sports yeah. Illustrated is saying they're responding to his criticism, saying, why isn't um, Colin Kaepernick on here? They're saying, we're just uniting athletes, showing unity between all sports. Because, you know, there was a WNBA player on there. You saw a lot of other mm -hmm. people. So, yeah. Speaking, by the way, speaking of sports, on my drive in, yeah. I heard the latest from another network that's reporting in in that release we got about you know, college basketball. Oh, and gosh, of course, yeah. the fallout from the University of Louisville. Yeah. The coach number two they were talking about is possibly Rick Pitino, meaning he knew. He knew. Which, oh. I knew he knew, but he was claiming that he didn't know. He's still claiming. You know, he released that statement last night. Yeah, I mean. And I'm not, there was like a $160 million deal done with Louisville. And right, Adidas. With Adidas? Yeah. But that mean the ink may not have been dried on that, or it may not have been signed, which that probably won't happen. Talk about a hurting this if is that's a train true. Wreck. So. Well, and the most, excuse me, the most damning evidence in this, they're saying everything that the FBI, it's not just hearsay that they're making these decisions on. They're saying a lot of this stuff that they're reporting is on wiretap, is mm, on right. in email because chains. Because the NCAA in doesn't messages. have that capability. No, they, the F they don't have the authority, but the FBI does. Yeah. So if it is Rick Pitino, 
we'll know if it in fact. Pretty soon. Oh wow, I had not if heard that. So if, case, he, if he is the coach, yeah, he ain't got a leg to stand up. And you know, because he's going to try to sue the university for lack of cause in his termination. Mm. Well, if they got that, that's the difference between say forty. Two million and one million dollars, because his payout may be one million as opposed to the forty-two they owe him on the Gosh, entire contract. I, I hope he'll be okay on a million. Mm. Well, I probably wouldn't be. <laughs> I'd have to spend it all in Q-tips. Exactly right. Gosh, mm. and an ear candle. Those mm. things don't come cheap, you know. What do you do for that? Can somebody write to me on the Facebook page and tell you what? What do you do for water in the ear? When I was a kid, and I used to get water stuck in my ears in the swimming pool. My mom would pour hydrogen peroxide in there, and you lay. You pour hydrogen peroxide in the ear that has the water in it, and you lay like on the couch for like okay. ten minutes, and then you lay that ear over, and all the water comes gushing out. And gushing it feels out. awesome. Yeah. Oh, well, I hope you feel that way someday. <laughs> it feels awesome, and then you can hear. But yeah, try that really when okay, you get home. We used to do that at the Harmon House. Battery we acid. That's what you said. Battery acid, uh, right there. No, honey. Hi oh. Hydrogen peroxide. Hydrogen peroxide. Yeah. Okay. Hydrogen peroxide. Hey, the comedy Will and Grace returns to NBC tonight. Yay! It's more than a decade after the series finished up its initial run on the network. The original cast got back together about a year ago for a get out the vote viral video, and what do you know? It worked. So NBC is going to relaunch that series. It airs tonight at 9 o'clock Eastern, followed by the season premiere of Great News, which features a guest star, Tina Fey. I am so excited about this. I love Will It'll and Grace. It'll be good to see the gang back together. Well, and here's the thing. You it was always, a really good ensemble. It was a really good ensemble. They struck gold when they put those four together. It was yeah. an amazing show when it was on. And they all seem so happy to be working together again. You know, the fear is always when you had a show that was a really, really great show, and then you try to bring it back and something, and it usually fails. Critics, though, that have seen episodes, like you know, it. been able to see it before, they're Chemistry saying it's the same as it was then. It's almost better now than it was then. So I'm really hoping that's true. We'll see tonight. We'll I judge. I hope it really works. We'll judge tonight. I love all of them. Love, love, love them. All right, everybody, those are today's Hot Topics. Hot Topics. All right, the Lexington Fire Department is using a day of food and fun this weekend to teach the importance of fire prevention, and you can get your flu shot while you're there. It's an annual event held each year, open to everyone, and we got to take a sneak peek. It was pretty fun. Yeah, we had a blast. Here yeah. you go. Coming up on uh, Sunday, a fire prevention and wellness festival is going to be held here at the Masterson Station Park, and uh, Todd and Kyle are here. Tell us all about it. Absolutely. Uh, Sunday is going to be the Fire Prevention Festival out here at Masterson Station. Uh, we have something for everybody, kids all the way up. There's fire truck rides, there's health screenings, free food. I mean, what couldn't you like? You know, kids, when they get excited, you can't control a kid when you say, we're going to go get a health screening. <laughs> no, I, the big thing is they're, they, they're going to get a chance to get their flu shot, but they can also ride a fire right. truck. That's a great <laughs> bribe right that there. Is, that is. Look, guys, I mean, I would love to ride on a fire truck. <laughs> So when a kid gets on here, families come on to ride. I mean, they just get they get to ride around the whole park. There's two loops out here. The yeah. second loop is where the um, the fire truck rides are going to be, and they're actually the showmobile is going to be out here. We're going to have a, a DJ, so you'll have music playing while you're riding a fire truck. You know what I've always done, boys, is to carry something with me. If I got it, I don't know what I've done with it. I got it here somewhere. Just when you're talking about what I do with it, that's weird. Egress. <laughs> that's bad. Yeah. You know, I mean, it's because yeah. you can't always get a fire extinguisher handy. You gotta have a better plan than that. When it says a big fire, it's more like a lady smoking. You know, that, that may work. That may work. They'll take care of that. They'll take care of it. Are you playing? <laughs> <laughs> You've hired a professional clown. We've got a professional clown coming. He'll be tying balloons. Yeah, you can find him by the drainage ditch. A red balloon <laughs> oh, no. is coming Don't out of there. It. That's where you go down in that hole, and you can see that show. It's fantastic, kids. There's no fire truck rides in the drain. <laughs> If you didn't get it, that was a knit reference, and I'm terrified already. I haven't even seen the movie yet, and I'm scared. That festival is this Sunday from 2 to 6 over at Masterson Station Park. Admission, as we said, and parking is absolutely free. It's going to be an amazing event. They said, what, they had nearly 5,000 people last year? Yeah, it's a yeah. pretty big deal. Yeah, so it's going to be a huge event again this year. Head out, take the family. It's going to be lots of fun. Stay with us. More fun here on Live with Lee and Haley. Yeah, Hollywood in the house. That's right. When we come back. Stay with us.